got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah. G'day Minecrafters, how you going? This is Stevo, and today I want to show you a cool um, secret door entrance. Uh, I'm going to show you two actually. I'll show you this one because it's really cool. Um, it's got a very basic entrance. I could have gone more detail, but the other one, the other t door that I'm going to show you has a cooler entrance. And then I'll, sh I'll show you each one individually how to make them as well. So this one, and you just go straight down. And that's it. It's a simple door. It closes easy. I got lights as well, just because. And um, yeah, so that little switch, um, I'm not sure what it would be called, but look at that. I want to show you how to make that before I go into the other video. So this here is our basic system. You've got power going into a block, which you can also power, which is how I got the button from the inside um, to be able to switch. So put a button on there. And that's our inside switch. You can see the tip, T flip flop swap states. Um, anyway, so that's that. Now on the outside, the bit that you see, because everything else, all this other stuff you won't see. This is our outside external surface. You walk up to it, you know, or you can have a sheer face there. It doesn't really matter. Um, and bec that block there, um, it comes out straight away. Now I'll show you why. Whoops. Um, the principal thing is, when a block, like a normal grass block, can allow, it can um, let signal through. So we've got signal coming through that block, and whatever. But the minute you trow it, signal stops going through. So you can um, create some pretty cool things with trowed soil. Um, pretty, pretty cool secret things with trowed soil. So we've got, um, that one obviously doesn't do anything, but what happens is, um, when the power stops coming through here, um, it retracts this piston because this power from this torch can no longer touch that piston. So this returns to here, and the power from here um, goes into this piston through that block and untrows this soil, thus allowing the power to go through and resets it in moments. So you can see it, it only happens in a moment. And that's the, the switch. Now while this is happening really quickly, this is changing states the whole time. So it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. So that's this door. It's a pretty cool little switch. Um, I came up with this myself, just playing around. And yeah, it's got, you can have um, manual settings as well as the other. It's a little bit slower, but anyway. So that's that one. Now the so second door I want to show you, um, you can use the same switch that I used on the first one for the second one, but um, I've got a different um, switch set up on this one. This one's just as secret and just as cool. Um, but what you need to do to um, initiate this switch um, is to throw a block away to get, to get rid of it. You know, you don't want it anymore. It's um, <laughs> it's dead to me. So, um, and that will set off a switch, provided I chucked it right. Um, no, it did. Yep, it worked. Look at that. And we have our second type of entrance. Now, this can be shut manually as well. Um, and can be shut from the outside as well. Now I want to show you how this one works. Um, I don't have a ready system to show... Oops, I probably should... <laughs> uh, do, do it from here. Alright, so this one is a little bit simpler than the other one, and I have to dismantle everything to get in there. It's awesome. Um, all I've basically got here is a pressure plate, on um, on stone, probably should have that actually on glass. It would increase it exponentially um, because that's now not stuck on there, and so there's no chance for items to get stuck. So what happens is the item comes through here and then it goes through the block. So I'll give you an example of that. See that? So it initiates this. The T flip flop here is set off. So just like the other one, just uses a basic T flip flop. Um, but you've used also a pressure plate system, so normally when you have items on a pressure plate, they don't just appear. But because I've got glass on these three sides, it doesn't stick to it, um, to the fence, and the items go straight through. Um, so let's chuck another one through. As you can see, it goes straight through, and that's how this works. So it's a lot simpler design. Let's, um, 
I'll show you what I, how it works. So let's um let's close the door. So how I do that? Let's chuck an item in here. Now, arguably, probably doing it in the snow wouldn't have been the best idea because, as you can see there, um, I didn't make my chute long enough, and you can see into it into my um thing when you look through the glass. Looking through water, you would never see that, but looking through glass, you can. It's completely obvious. And look at that it finish. It closes nice and flush. It's a bit slower than the other one, but it's still pretty cool. So let's have a look at how to make that. I'll put that there because I actually lost where this was. Um, I was at my other house and um, other door. And building that for a little while, I forgot where that was. So, pretty much all you've got is, imagine you've got, here's your water chute. So, it's an awesome water chute. Don't, don't be hating on the water chute. Um, you need a fence. Go away, pig. <laughs> uh, where's my... F Damn it, I'm an idiot. It's up the top. Um, I need the glass out, so I won't get rid of that. And I need... A pressure plate, so we don't need the wool anymore. So put some glass around it. Like I said, I should have done this in super flat, but oh well. Now, as you can see, it sticks to there. So the block here is the most vital to have a um something on. Um, and there you go. So what you Basically, how you would hook this up is you would have either the back or the side. I don't have any redstone on me. <laughs> awesome. Go me. I am so cool today. All right. So that's and that's our output signal. So this the water comes down here and hits the pressure plate. Let's get a bit of water actually. Uh, block the back off. Yeah, water bucket. Where out there? Don't need a, bu a button. So this is our water chute, and the items go straight there. So let's chuck, say, this one. And the item goes right through. See that? And then you have lava at the bottom. So it's it's a very easy system to work, and then you just have that connected to a T flip-flop, and use the exact same system as before. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Stevo, and, um, and these are two cool ideas for... Um, for in for secret bases. I've got, I'll probably make up some more um, as time goes on, but these are just two two ones that I was thinking of today. Um, so, yeah. But thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and um, if you like, click <laughs> like, um, subscribe, whatever, and I will catch you in the next video. <laughs> Alright, catch you later. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah.